Hey guys, me and Zero Cloud have been talking about memory cards and sharing memory card files, and I realized that I haven't made a tutorial for how to manage the memory card files on EPSXC, so I'm going to do that now. It's going to be very useful and very handy. The first thing you're going to do if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to open your EPSXC file. So go to your EPSXC folder, double click on that, go to mem cards, and as you can see you have mem slot 1, mem slot 2, which of course stand for file slot 1 and fire slot and file slot 2. If you still don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to open your EPSXE file run bios. As if you're running a real PlayStation. All right, now as you can see, you're here, you click on memory card, press X. and your memory cards are loading up. I have nothing on my slot 2, so the only thing you can see is slot 1. For this tutorial, I'm only going to focus on slot 1, so if you have a slot 2, it's completely fine. You don't have to have, this, have, to have the same things as I do. I'm going to exit out of that and exit out of the emulator completely. I just needed to show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Google Let's do this the long way. And type in mem card rex no spaces. It's gonna be the first link that comes up. Gonna click on that. It's gonna show you on this website. Click on download. The best thing about this is that you don't have to install anything. Once you install the mem or once you download the mem card rex 1.5 zip, you're gonna click OK, save it, and extract it. Now when you extract it, it's going to show up in a folder right here. Double click on that, again, and there is the actual program. If you don't want to keep going through all those folders every time, just right click on the EXE and click on Pin to Taskbar. I already have mine pinned, so it's going to say Unpin. Anyhow, alright, now that you got your memcard Rex open, I already loaded my slot 1 memory card and you do that by going file open and in the MCR section of your EPSXE like I showed you click on mem slot 1 excuse my stuttering I just can't concentrate right now for whatever reason okay now whatever you do now if you already know how to use mem card rex for those of you who don't whatever you do do not click on the link slot and delete those the middle link and end link ones meaning it it needs to be there for another file to run so please whatever you do don't delete those otherwise you're just asking for disaster anyhow uh i'm not i don't have anything on my slot too so i'm going to make a new memory card file you're going to go file new it's going to do that now to transfer some of these things over uh let's say you do this right click on that and you're going to click on copy save to temp buffer click on that click on the free slot in your second memory card right click and click paste and that's going to transfer any file you have on memory card 1 to memory card 2 but that's basically what i mean by how to manage your memory cards and let's save it and run it gonna save as I'm just gonna save it as test again it's gonna save it as an MCR file always wanna use MCR with EPSXE save let's go back to our emulator file run BIOS well before you do that you need to configure the test as your memory card so go to con config memory card alright now put slot 2 as your test as your test make sure it says file 2 test MCR and the only thing I put on there is the Chrono Cross one so you're gonna go to file run BIOS memory card
and there you go. That's how you copy and manage your EPSXC memory card files. Zero Cloud, I hope this answered your questions. Any saved data you have is on an MCR file of any sort. So just download MCardRex or MemCardRex. Man, I'm stuttering so much in this video. MemCardRex and get everything on one memory card. That way it's not scattered all over the place. And that's how you have all the saved data files. Uh, again, I'm sorry for all the stuttering. I just can't concentrate for whatever reason, but I hope this answered your question. If you have any other questions, I'll just make another video or answer you in writing. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming!